In this example, we will show you how to interface a solid state relay and discuss the important aspects of developing a device driver, which is a collection of software used to simplify and utilize an I.O. device. Let's begin. In this example, we will use a solid state relay to allow the microcontroller to turn on and off a AC powered appliance. A solid state relay has two terminals of input shown here on the device modeled as a light emitting diode here in the circuit. If current flows through this diode then the switch, these two pins here, will be connected. And if no current flows through this diode then the switch will be open and no power can be applied. So in order to connect the relay to the microcontroller, we will interface this LED to the computer. I've chosen to use PT5 for this solution, but I could have used any of the output pins on the 9S12. The diode, as you know, is a nonlinear device such that the current rises rapidly as the voltage goes past the set point. In this interface, we're going to drive the LED at 2 volts and 10 milliamps. This is specified by the manufacturer of the relay. So we're going to want to set the operating point of the on position of this relay to 2 volts and 10 milliamps. In order to do this, we're going to need Ohm's law. Again, voltage is current times resistance. And we're going to want to place a resistor here to allow us to set or control or specify the current during the on position of this relay. And this resistor we're going to calculate using Ohm's law. This particular relay is going to require 10 milliamps of current. And that's a lot for the microcontroller to source or sync. So we're going to use a driver device such as the Open Collector 7405 in order to sync the 10 milliamps of current to ground when it's on. Again, the way this will work is when PT5 is high, the output of the 7405 will be low and current will flow through the device, turning on the circuit. Let's build the rest of the interface. We have an appliance, which is modeled here as a resistive load. This might be a light bulb or a motor or a fan, something that would be driven by an AC source. This part of the circuit models the AC source and so this is essentially a plug where this is the black wire and this is the white wire of a typical household 120 volts AC 60 Hertz source. Okay, let's use Ohm's law to choose this resistor. When the software sets PT5 high, there will be 5 volts here and will drive the output of this device to the output low voltage of this driver. The output low voltage of this driver is about 0.5 volts. If we do things properly, we're going to get 2 volts drop across the diode, which will make this voltage 2.5. Well, how much voltage is there across this resistor? We have 5 volts here, VOL here, 2 volts across the relay, and so we're going to have 5 minus VOL minus 2 volts across this resistor. Again, we're going to use Ohm's law, and so the resistance of this resistor here is going to be selected such that 5 minus VOL minus 2, 2 being the diode voltage, divided by the diode current here 10 milliamps. We simplify this and see that 2.5 volts will go across the resistor, and we want 10 milliamps to flow, so we'll use a resistor of 240 ohms. So we'll place a 240 ohm resistor here. We use 240 rather than 250 because 240 is a standard resistor value. Easier to find when we go to buy it. Okay, let's review. When the software sets the output high, there'll be 5 volts on this pin. This 7405 open collector driver will have an output of 0.5 volts. 2 volts will drop across the diode, and this voltage will be 2.5. The 240 
ohm resistor will supply 10.4 milliamps, very close to what we needed, and this LED will turn on. The solid state relay will then close the switch and power will be applied to the appliance. Next, if the software sets this pin to a zero, there will be zero volts here and the 7405 open collector driver will have a high impedance output and no current can flow here. Since no current will flow through this resistor, this will also be 5 volts and this LED will be off. The solid state relay will open the switch and no power will be applied to the appliance. OK, now let's build the software. A device driver is a set of software routines to simplify the use of an I.O. device. The solid state relay is a simple device and therefore the driver will be very straightforward. But again, it illustrates the concept of device driver design. There are two classes of functions in a device driver. First, we have a set of functions which will initialize the device. And second, we'll have a set of functions, action functions, which are executed during the normal operation of the device to perform the duties. In this case, we're going to be able to turn on the relay and turn off the relay. OK, let's build the functions. The initialization will set the direction register equal to a high. And we'll do that by setting bit 5 of DDRT. And to do that in a friendly way, we can use the OR instruction. If we were writing in C, it might look like this. Again, this OR in function is a friendly way to set bit 5. Now, to turn the relay on, which will apply power to the appliance, we're going to set bit 5 of port T using the OR operation. If we were writing it in C, it would look like this. PTT OR equals hexadecimal 20. We'll set bit 5, applying power to the appliance. And the third function will be used to turn the appliance off. To turn the appliance off, we're going to clear bit 5. And we'll use the AND instruction to clear bits in port T. This is friendly. Again, load and store is a way to clear bits. If we look at the DF, we can see that it has a zero here in the bit 5 position. And so when we end with DF, bit 5 will be cleared. When we write it in C, we again doing an AND equals instruction, which is essentially the same operation. In C, I'll use the tilde so that I don't have to calculate the DF explicitly. I'll let the compiler calculate the DF. Can you think of a quicker way I could have written this assembly language? In this example, each of the functions used three instructions in order to set and clear the bits. Yes, I could have used the bit set and bit clear instructions in order to make my program run a little faster. The bit set and bit clear are indeed friendly, only changing the one bit five as needed. So, in summary, we interfaced a solid state relay. The solid state relay is essentially a light emitting diode, and so we interfaced it using a resistor in order to set both the voltage and the current in the LED. And second, we developed a device driver. A device driver is a collection of software that simplifies the use of an I.O. device. Notice that we developed three functions and gave them names that describe what it is and what it does. So these three functions, once developed and tested, can then be used in a main program. So the concepts of a device driver is to separate what the device does from the details of how the device does it. Thank you very much.